Now affected family members for instance or someone in close proximity to ongoing um, dependence of alcohol and other drugs, whatever, are much higher users of healthcare services and psychiatric services than the general population. So you know a lot of anxiety, depression, fear and so it's easy to start having that conversation, shame, isolation. So with that it gives people, it oftentimes gives people permission to own that actually I do feel really scared. And people will say Oh, but you know, by the time people get to us, they, they don't want to have anything to do with their family or their family don't want to have to do anything with them. Fair enough. But it's not about that, it's about support. It's about support people, connecting people in with support people, whether it's in a 12 step or it's church or down at the gym or whatever, and about connect, and in, or in a group, you know, in CADS, say, it's about making those connections so that they have them when they're away from us because that's where people live. They live their life out there, not in an alcohol and drug agency. That's where we, they can learn some skills, have a bit of a practice, come back, but the connections need to be made out there. You know, if, if people are going to start taking some care, then they're going to be able to come back into themselves, intuitively know what to do because people feel so crazy by the time they get to us that they've lost the ability to make good decisions, they've lost trust in themselves and the other person, they're really lonely, they're really isolated even though there might be a whole bunch of people around, they're in the middle, you know, they're not telling the husband the whole truth because then he'll do this, you've got two or three siblings, they're starting to get really annoyed and think, oh, you know, why doesn't she just do something or why doesn't he man up and tell her to stop that and so managing all that kind of stuff but never realised that uh, what a huge toll it's taking. People think they're the only ones. Don't want to talk about it. It's too shameful. Don't want to see my friends because they might ask me how my son's doing. Their son's at university doing really well. I don't want to tell them that my son's going to court next week for some meth. That he's ripped off my um, LCD screen and DVD player that we can't leave town because we're too scared they're going to break into the house. So how I manage that is I just stop seeing my friends. Desperation gets people in the door because they don't know what to do. But the more it's talked about and the more it's out there, then they'll know someone who's done something like that and then they can, you know, because um, that's the other thing. People don't know the support available. A, that 